Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to generate dynamic PDF file and save into folder and send that PDF file as attachment with email. There many viewer has requested us to make video tutorial on create dynamic PDF file and send that file as attachment by using PHP script. So here we have make this video tutorial in which we have is DOM PDF library for generate dynamic PDF file and for send email we have use PHP mailer class. There are many enterprise level web application in which we can see this type of feature for example bank send us monthly statement in email with PDF file. So in this bank software generate dynamic monthly statement and convert into PDF format and send us our email address. So, this type of functionality we have make in this tutorial. Now let's start learning this topic, so here we have one testing database and in this we have one customer table and in this table we have already inserted some data. We will make convert this data into PDF file by using DOM PDF library and we will email this generated PDF file to web tutorial at programmer.net email. This our working folder in which we can see DOM PDF class and PHP mailer class under this folder, this is our index page. So on this page first we want from display customer data on web page. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to nuke to class with three object like mysql host set to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root and password set to blank. After making database connection, now we have make one function with name like fetch customer data with dollar connect variable as argument. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from customer table, this is our simple select query from fetch data from customer table. Below this we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, this statement make query for execution. For execute query we have write execute method, this method will execute query. After query execution we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will fetch data of query execution. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to HTML table code with 5 table column like name, address, city, postal code and country. Below this we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable, here by using loop we can fetch data from dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write dollar output variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like open and close table row with 5 table data tag. In first table data tag we want to display customer name details, so here we have write dollar row customer name variable. In second table data tag we want to display customer address details, so here we have write dollar row address variable. 
In third table data tag we want to print customer city data, so here we have write dollar row city variable. In fourth table data tag we want to display customer postal code details, so here we have write dollar row postal code variable. And in last column we want to display customer country details, so here we have write dollar row country variable. So this way we have store all data in HTML format in dollar output variable. Now we have write return statement with dollar output variable which an output of this function. Now here we have called this fetch customer data function. So here we have write echo statement with fetch customer data function with dollar connect variable. It will display customer data in HTML table format. Friends here we can see when page has been load into browser then we can see customer data in HTML format. Now we want to make PDF file and send as attachment with email. So we have go to index page and here we have write form tag with method is equal to post. Under this form we have write input type is equal to submit, name is equal to action and value is equal to PDF send. When user click on this button then PDF script will execute and it will make PDF file and send that file as attachment with email. Now we have moved to write PHP code. So here we have define one dollar message variable is equal to blank value. Under this variable we will store success message. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post action variable. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code. Write PHP code under this block. First we have moved to write PHP code under pdf.php file for extend all property of DOM PDF library into this PDF class. So here we have write require one statement with DOM PDF slash auto Here we have include DOM PDF library auto load file. Below this we have write use statement with dompdf forward slash dompdf. By using this statement we can use dompdf class. Now have write class statement with pdf name extends dompdf. Here we have create pdf class which extends all methods of dompdf class. Under this class we have write public function with construct magic function. This function has been called if object of this class has been created. Under this function we have write parent statement with construct magic function. Here we have called parent class construct method. It will called parent class construct method when new object of this class has been created. Now we have go to index page and here we have write include statement with pdf.php. Here we have include this pdf class here. After this we have write dollar file name variable is equal to md5 function and under this function we have write php random function dot pdf. This code will generate dynamic pdf file name. Below this we have write dollar html code variable is equal to link tag with ref is equal to bootstrap library name by using this we can use bootstrap library under dompdf library also.
Now we have write dollar HTML code variable and under this variable we have append code get from fetch customer data function with dollar connect variable. This function will return customer data in HTML table format which we have appended under dollar HTML code variable. Now we have write dollar PDF variable is equal to new PDF class. Here we have create object of this PDF class. Below this we have write dollar PDF object with load HTML method with dollar HTML code variable. This method will load HTML code. After this we have write dollar pdf with render method, this method will render html to pdf. Now we have write dollar file variable is equal to dollar pdf object with output method, this method will generate pdf file and store under dollar file variable. After this we have write file put contents function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar file name variable and in second argument we have write dollar file variable. This function will put file put from dollar file variable with name get from dollar file name variable and store under our working folder. This file we will store temporary after sending this file with email as attachment we will remove from folder, so for send email. Here we have write require statement with class folder slash class dot php mailer dot php, here we have load php mailer class here for send email with pdf as attachment. Now we want to create object of this PHP mailer class, so we have write dollar mail variable is equal to new PHP mailer class. Here we have create dollar mail object of this PHP mailer class. After this we have start writing PHP mailer configuration for send email with attachment. So here we have write dollar mail object with is smtp method. This method sets mailer to send message using smtp credential. Below this we have write dollar mail object with host is equal to smtp out secure server net. Here we have define smtp host server. After define host server. Now we have again write dollar mail object with post is equal to 80. Here we have define SMTP server port. Now we have write dollar mail object with SMTP authentication is equal to true. Here we have define SMTP authentication is like username and password is required for send email. Below this we have write dollar mail object with username is equal to smtp username. Here you have to define your smtp username. If you have then write here. After define username. Now we have write dollar mail object with password. Here you have to define your smtp password. If this both SMTP username and password proper then it will send email. Then after we have write dollar mail object with SMTP secure is equal to blank. Here you can write SSL or TSL if you have otherwise leave blank. Now we have again write dollar mail object with from option here we can define email from which we have received email. So here we have write info at the rate webs lesson dot info. So here we have defined sender email. Below this we have write dollar mail object with from name is equal to webs lesson dot info. 
Here we have sets email sender name and this name will be view to receiver. Now we want to set receiver email address, so here we have write web tutorial at the rate programmer.net. Here you can set dynamic email also but here for learning purpose we have write static email of receiver. Below this we have again write dollar mail object with is HTML method with argument true. Here we have set message type to HTML otherwise it email format will be plain text. Now we want to send email with attachment, so here we have write dollar mail object with add attachment method and under this method we have directly write dollar file name variable in which we have store pdf file name. If file has been store another folder then you have to define complete path of file. Here we have store PDF file under working folder so here we have write simply dollar file name variable. Now we want to define subject of email, so we have write static subject like customer details. And lastly in email configuration we want to define email body. So we have write dollar mail object with body is equal to the static email message. So here email configuration is completed with all necessary information and now we can send dynamic email with dynamic generated PDF file as attachment. So for send email we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar mail object with send method. This condition will check if email send successfully then it will execute if block of code. Suppose email successfully send then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to success message like customer details has been sent successfully. After sending of email with dynamic generated PDF file as attachment, now we want to remove PDF file from our working folder. So here we have write unlink function with file path as argument, so here we have write dollar file name variable, this function will remove dynamic generated PDF file after sending of email with attachment. Lastly here we have write echo statement with dollar message variable, it will display success message if email sends successfully with dynamic generated PDF file. Now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh browser. After refresh of browser then we can see customer data in HTML table format and above this table data we can see one button. When we will click on this button then it will generate dynamic PDF file of this customer data and after this it will send email to particular email with dynamic generated PDF file as attachment. So now we have click on this button, after click on this button we can see process of PHP script for generate dynamic PDF file and sending of email with attachment of PDF file. After completing of creating and sending email we can see success message like customer details has been sent successfully on web page. Now we have check in email inbox, whether it has received email with PDF file as attachment. So here we can see that email has been received in web tutorial at the rate programmers.net email and here we can also see PDF file in attachment, so we have download this file and open in browser. 
So here friends we can see customer data in PDF file which we have seen on web page. So this way we can generate dynamic PDF file using Domp library and after this we can send that file as attachment with email using PHP mailer library. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.